Hi guys, Hero here, and today I'm here with the Xbox Ally X ZTE, 24GB, and it's got 1TB of storage, and in this short video, I'm going to quickly set it up for my daughter so she can start gaming, and this is going to be docked, so we'll do some tweaks just to help out. Now, quickly, this is the UK version, so it includes a 65W charger unlike the European version that doesn't. However, this device can take up to 100 watts of quick charging. So you do have to buy that separately. Now, let's have a quick look at the device before I start setting it up. The device itself comes with a seven inch screen. It has two USB-C ports at the top and also a micro SD. At the back, it's got two toggle buttons and you can see the really good grip that it's got and it is known for its ergonomics here yeah? so it's really comfortable anyway let's get started setting this up this baby so the first step is to have it plugged in and you probably want it plugged in for the first few uh, minutes uh, as we do a lot of restarts and also some bias updates now the first step is going to be a windows 11 install installation i'm not going to guide you to that because you can do that yourself but the, the one advice i will give you is that you do need to set up some security credentials and um, I do recommend setting up the fingerprint reader. So this device does have a fingerprint reader, so it will make yourself easier to log in and out. And I've set this up for my daughter as well. So once you have Windows 11 installed, you're going to be presented with the Xbox app. Uh, but what you need to do is swipe up and go into Windows 11 fully. And the first thing is you're going to do updates and sadly there's lots of updates to do so the three main areas you're going to update is first of all you're going to go into settings and windows update and click on the button to check for updates you might also want to toggle the option to show the latest updates and there will be multiple window 11 updates and also driver updates and you just have to bear with this process um, during this time the device might restart but it is a process that you need to go through and it's mandatory. The second place that we're gonna update is via, again, the Windows 11 uh, app OS. So you're gonna click on Windows Microsoft Store. You can click on Downloads, and you're then gonna hit the Check Update buttons. Again, you need to just go through this process and there'll be probably be, I think I had something like 20 apps to upload. Um, and it will get you uh, through the process. So lastly, you're going to click on the Harmony Create button. When the click on this the first time, you're going to be presented with a screen like this. And this is itself preparing for installation and it's updating itself. So you need to do this. And again, it's a lengthy process before you can actually go into the app and start using the app. Now, when we're in the app itself, a couple of things. You want to hit on the update center and you want to check for updates and this will present to you lots of options for the software updates but also the firmware and the bios updates now the key thing i mentioned is that to do the bios and firmware updates you probably have to reset the device and you need the device plugged in and i recommend you just leave it running so don't mess around with it once it starts um so there you go you can see me plugging the device it lasts you with uh plugging the uh 65 watt charger and then before you can continue with the bios update and it will restart like i say please don't mess around with the device just let it do its thing and it will update and you can then have the device ready to play so again three main areas we need to update so there's windows settings for the windows updates there's Microsoft, which will update the applications such as the AMD and Xbox app, and also Armory Crate to get the latest updates on terms of BIOS. Now, once all the updates are done, we're going to quickly log back into Armory Crate, and you can just check that there's no other updates that you need to do, and everything looks good. In terms of Armory Crate itself, a couple of options. You can click on the general button and the general button will kind of give you the high level option so in terms of do you want this to application start at windows startup and uh, what do you want to use in terms of quick launch settings performance we're not going to cover this in this video but 
just know that this controls the TDP and also the power for both your CPU and uh, graphics card. But the K thing we are going to do, because I mentioned that my daughter is going to dock her game, is I'm going to the batch K option and I'm going to enable that. Now, uh, in Windows, again, a uh, couple of things we want to do. So we want to go into Windows 11 and we want to look, search for core isolation and turn core isolation. Now, this is requires a restart, but it's mandatory and Windows recommends it for gaming devices. Now, we also want to check that for device encryption. So we're going to disable device encryption. And this is another step that's not required for gaming devices and it does slow down your load times. Uh, it probably won't impact the FPS, but it will make the device in terms of read writes for your storage act a lot fa faster. So your games load faster in those bigger games. Last of all, I'm going to go into the widget store and I'm going to download an app known as Steam Grid DB. Uh, and this is required for the Xbox app because sometimes when the Xbox app you install games from other sources, it doesn't download the logos or the graphics. Uh, so you have a black box. So we just want it to look pretty for her, yeah? So do that. Now to get the app to work quickly, you do have to go into the security set, the privacy area, scroll down into the file system area. And when you click on file system, you'll see that the app is now there and you have to toggle it uh, to allow the permission so you can download the graphic updates. The last step, you're going to go into Microsoft or your search um, browser and you're going to search for Rafaia Wind 11. And I include this in the description below and this is a quick way of debloating Windows 11. I use this all the time. Um, unlike other debloaters, this is quite a safe debloater because it only gets rid of applications that Windows installs that probably <laughs> It is extra so the weather app, the um, Microsoft Teams. Now, obviously, you can delete this by yourself going into apps and uh, remove them one by one. However, this is a list that has been validated. And what you want to do is uh, go into PowerShell, run the command script that's from the GitHub that I'll provide in the description below. It will then ask you to uh, either uh, what's called manually select the apps you want to delete or um, go through a predefined list. I just use the predefined list, so hit one. And then last of all, you just want to make sure that um, you go through the default list and you'll start doing it. This will take a couple of um, minutes to run and then you're done. So <laughs> I just wanted you to get going and gaming and you know keep this video short and sweet. So if you did enjoy this, please do hit like and subscribe and I'll do more videos on the Xbox Ally X. Have a good one.